Hi there, so we're starting off a little series here, I guess, almost. <laughs> a few videos just starting from scratch making a mod. And this one is part three, I guess, of uh, hopefully not more than three. Uh, that where we're just adding, trying to add eyeglasses uh, into the game. And this, the purpose of this was to start from scratch. Like you don't know really anything hardly. Uh, you're just, how do you debug? How, you know, how do you research what you want to change? And because um, I think that a lot of the videos just pop in and assume that you know a lot. And it's, it's hard to maybe catch up for somebody that's just starting from the very beginning. So where we got to is we got to the point, um, what we, this model we want to do is have, have the glasses equipped on the player at the very beginning of the game. So uh, what, uh, uh, what we want to do is we want to put the, they're in this player house in the very beginning of the game, and we want the glasses to appear on them in the very, very beginning of the game. So, um, but we don't, you know, we don't want to change anything in the game. So what we're doing is we're creating a quest that detects when the game is started and then adds the eyeglasses. So this new quest, eyeglasses start, will do that. Um, we've gotten some of it done. It's a very simple quest, doesn't have any of this extra stuff. All it has is a very simple quest with a, just an ID, start during the beginning of the game, run one time, comes here in the scripts, and this script is going to run, this small little script is going to run right at the beginning of the game. So, uh, we left off in opening up that small little script, which is a piece of code that runs when the quest runs. The quest is just like an object that's, uh, you know, part of the, one of the things that's running in the game. So we left off with a few things to do here. So, and I haven't left, I haven't done any, you know, research beyond this. So, one thing we want to do is we want to, if we, after 10, this quest MQ 101, which is the start of the game quest, um, if it's 10 or greater, we want to go ahead and give them eyeglasses. Okay, we haven't finished that part of it, but let's, there's one thing, if we haven't reached 10 yet, I, it looks to me like we don't want to give them eyeglasses because it's still kind of starting up that quest. So we need to wait for that stage. Um, so how can we do that? Um, well, what we can do is uh, we can, what's called register for something, some kind of event. These are events that happen, and this is all event-driven programming, uh, and which means it, things that happen, we wait for things to happen. This is on quest init. So when the quest has initialized, this, event will happen uh, and, it, uh, and it will call this. So what we can do is register ourselves to get notified when something happens. Um, so uh, you know that would be something that you have to kind of do a lot of research uh, to figure out. I mean let's say that you didn't know like how would I I think I go I want to wait but what if it isn't quite at 10 yet? How would I figure out what it is? So I'm saying you got to register for something. Well, that isn't in here. So this quest, what is one thing you're like, okay, it doesn't have anything for that, for finding out about that. Um, so what else could you do? Well, the interesting thing is a quest comes from a form. So um, there's a, you know, it's a situation where, um, and just typing on here, a, a quest, you know, comes from a form, and if we click on a form here, this is now a form script. And you can see here, where does a form come from? Well, a form comes from a script object. So, um, so there's these hierarchies to the scripts. One script uh, object is one script object or item in the game is built on another one which is built on another one. So <clears throat> what we need to do is see if one of these lower ones has something where we can tell if um, register for some type of event. Now uh, script object um, you know has a set of 
things here. Um, if we look, uh, it doesn't seem to have anything to see if we can see if there's some other object. So if we go back uh, in here to the form script, if we look in here though, if we look down here a bit, uh, where is it? Um, not seeing what I'm looking for that I know is here, but it doesn't appear to be here. Script. I'm not sure why I'm not seeing it. Okay. I don't know why what that was all about. Okay. So here we are again. Okay. I don't, I think for some reason it didn't load the other one. Uh, it's some strange, strange thing about the links or something. I think that's probably a bug in the documentation or something the, that's here, the, the instructions. So what I was looking for is these things, register. We want to register for events. So I, um, this is what I was looking for. So what we want to register for, um, which again would be hard to figure out because I want to register for a quest change or something like that. Uh, what I'm looking for. So, so you would start going for like looking at your quest. Like, hmm, I want to register, register to see something. You know, like oh, events, event. I want to see when when the quest is changed or something. You know, um, um, so as it turns out, um, it would take a little while to and, and searching both in the internet and everything. Um, it, what you would do is go here, and I'll show you what I would, I would had to do when I was learning. You'd have to say something like creation kit. Um, uh, I would say like follow for uh, check when um, uh, quest stage is set uh, or changes changes. That's typically what I would do. So you know. Um, so again, you'll get videos of people, set quests and level, set quest variables. There's all kinds of things, um, you know, and, and you just, uh, you just have to start um, reading. <laughs> it's, it's, uh, it's kind of, you know, crazy, but it, you just have to start reading uh, about looking at some of these posts of people and start reading and looking at what they've done. Um, you know, look at, you know, whether it's Reddit or some other thing and just start reading what other people have done. Um, so, uh, you know, it's, 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 it takes time watching videos. Um, like this one says, um, starting quest from entering. I don't know what it says, but I'm not going to go into YouTube, but, but, uh, the point is, is that you just have to start researching, um, how you can do these quests, watching videos and, and eventually, um, how to start a quest with a note. I don't know what this is. So this is for Skyrim. Um, you know, this is different of course, in fallout in some ways, but, um, you know, you, you have to say, you know, how do I detect some quest when it's, it's stage has changed? Um, you know, it, it's, it's unfortunately takes, it would take some time to find the right link. Um, so quest, quest stage, uh, is set, um, Advancing quest stages when other quests are completed. So here's this um, for comments, um, view discussion. Um, um, 
Yeah, it just takes time to uh, to do this. So anyway, uh, you eventually what you'll come across if it, you look in here, and I can't. I I was hoping I could find the one rent or have a real setup for you. Um, is that you'll find out that the one you really want is uh, this one, register for remote event, and that's the one where you can check to see to see if some remote event has happened. You can even put the event name in here. So, uh, so if we go back here, and sorry about all that, but uh, you know, some dead air on the video. But uh, if we haven't gotten to ten, what you're going to want to do here is register for a remote event, uh, and we want to register for a remote event on that quest MQ101 from up above here. And we, the event we want to receive is on stage set because that's the one where if we look at the quest, we'll go back to the quest, you can see they have in the events on stage set. So when what we're telling it is when 101 has on stage set app happen, you want to tell us too. So what does that mean for us now? That means we have to say event, and since it's just a general quest event we're waiting for, you actually have to end up putting quest. Now that actually would take some time to learn too, and I had to learn that too. If it's a general event that you've registered, a remote event, you have to put what object in the front here. So you have to say quest dot and then on stage set and then you need the parameters. So I'm just gonna copy and paste them from here. Uh, these same parameters here. It needs to be exact. It basically has to be this exact same signature. So I can copy the whole thing uh, and put it here. But you have to have quest in front of it. And for every event, there's an end event <coughs> after it, and uh, so that's now this now this will get called. So we don't have to wait for stage ten. So that's what we're going to do here. This is going to get called. So then, what do we have to do in here? So this is the stage that's there. So we need to say um, the other thing is when you're getting called from some other place, you need to have the one more parameter in the front when you register for a remote thing. It will tell you that in the docs of the on register. Um, so if we go back to like the, the script object here, oh, see, see that's weird. See, it's, it's, it's somehow wrong. Um, uh, if I say form script and script object, then we get them all. That's very interesting, isn't it? Anyway, some, that's a probably bug in their documentation. So for here, we say register for remote remote. Oops. Yeah, here's unregister for remote event. So register for remote event. Um, it show this here, but it'll say you have to um, uh, I don't know where it says that, but you it'll add there's an additional uh, uh, sender here that ha will be in the front. Uh, it, so the it's also the script where this is filed. So this first part will need to be um, added to the front. So it says on activate, but um, this first parameter needs to be added. The on activate only has this one thing. So you need to have this um, uh, this in the front. If you look at on activate, uh, you need that uh, the, you need the thing in the front that's that's cut where it's coming from. So to not make this over complicated, you have to say quest and uh, and because we've registered on a quest here, so you have to say quest and then ak sender <coughs> right there. So. So what we want to do here is check if the AK sender is equal to that quest MQ101, and we want to say and that's a two and uh, and for sand signs there, 
and the AUI stage ID, so this thing here. Uh, again, the same thing, greater than or equal to 10. So if it's that, then we want to do our give eyeglasses to the player. Oops. Okay. And, um, and now we don't care anymore about these events, so we want to unregister uh, for the event. So we just want to do the same thing, except instead of register, we're going to say unregister. We don't care about getting those events anymore because we're now starting it up. So we just say unregister and then end it like that. So that's how we're going to check to see if it happens after this time. So that'll take care of that part. So the last part we need to do is we need to give them the eyeglasses. So down here, now we need to say if um, you know actor has the eyeglasses, uh, there's an end if, and then we have to have all this give eyeglasses and equip eyeglasses. Uh, well, we have to give eyeglasses inside of this if. Um, so we actually want to say um, if they don't have the eyeglasses, if if the actor does not have eyeglasses, then give eyeglasses to them and then equip the eyeglasses. So we need to check if they have the eyeglasses. So, so now again, how do you do that? Um, <laughs> so that would lead you, okay, something with the actor, I guess. I have to do something with them. Again, back to the Creation Kit website. So you're going, okay, actor. So I don't want the script. I don't want the quest. I want an actor. So again, you're here to type actor and that word script. Press enter. After script, there it is. So you'll go into actor script. <clears throat> Again, this isn't perfect the documentation, but it's pretty good. So we want to find out if they have some item in the game. So I don't know. You'd start thinking, okay, how can I search for? There's a bunch of things you can do. Long list, you know. And so you just have to do some searching. You know, find, maybe look for item. So you look for item, worn item. Uh, you can scroll down and start looking at some of these matches. Drop items, equip item. So that equips the item. So we're going to want that. So we're going to just, uh, let's go ahead and, uh, you know, we're going to want to actor dot equip item. So we'll want to do this thing. Uh, what we'll do is, as I often do, is I'll hit the you know, middle mouse button or whatever. Or you know, right click, I'll open this in a new tab. <clears throat> I'll save that for later because I'm going to need this. So I found that. I'm going to need that. Uh, what else we got for item? Get equipped item type. Obtains the item of the equipped item. Nope, that's not it. Uh, what else do we have? Item is equipped. Is the object equipped? Um, I guess that would be one thing. We could say if it they have equipped eyeglasses, but that's not exactly what we want. We want to see if they have the item. But we can open that. That's certainly something we could check. Um, so mark item as favorite. That's if you have a favorite item. Um, so we want something like has item or something. Unequip item. No, we don't want that. Unequip all, everything. Um, get worn item. These are from the script extender. We don't want to really use those if we can because they are then required to have a, this plugin called F4SC, which is script extension. So we don't really want to use any of these script extension functions. We don't have to. So unfortunately, we never find something. We never found, found some on events. We never found anything with item in this particular thing. But remember, these things all come from something else sometimes. So we're scrolling up in this object reference here. Uh, is where this actor came from. So if we look at object reference, now we're going to say, okay, well, let's look for item in here. So now what do we have? Well, we have add item, adds the item to this object inventory. That's something we're going to need. So we're going to have to, if we want to add the eyeglasses. So we're again, we're going to open that in a new tab. We're going to just start creating a little toolbox of things that we're going to need to build this thing, doing this research. You know, that's part that, like I said, I don't think is explained anywhere. 
So we get component count, number of components in the items in the object inventory, that's not it. Um, get item count, returns how many of the items in the object inventory. That's what we want. How many eyeglasses do they have? If it's zero, they don't have it. This is what we want here, what we're looking for. So we're gonna open that in new tab. So now we've got our research things. We know how to check if something is equipped, how to add it, how to equip it, how to get how many there are. So let's just start off with the item count. You know, I think we've got, you know, so it takes a little thinking ahead. What do you need to do, to accomplish what you're trying to do? So, you know, we, we've gotten to this point where, you know, we, uh, we now got everything we need to do. So we need to get four, so this is called on an actor. So we're gonna say actor dot get item count, but then it wants an item. So if it's, it just looks for that, reference or that item if it's if it's if it's something it's going to count how many of this um this object like armor weapon or something it's going to count how many eyeglasses there are eyeglasses is an armor in the game um and uh as it turns out um something you wear is and most all, all those things are armor even though they're not all armor some of them are clothing or eyeglasses or hats or something like that so uh so for here uh, we need to find out the eyeglasses. So we're going to have to get that armor item. So let's, that's going to be another one of those uh, properties that we add. So let's go back here. So what we're going to add then is we're going to add um, an armor item property. And we'll just call it eyeglasses. We'll say auto const. We'll say the uh, eye. Or we'll say the base game eye class glasses. All right. So I want to make sure I can get a hold of those first. So I'm going to save this. Oops. And what did I do? Oh, that's because I have something here. So we haven't quite finished down here. So I need to, I'm just going to put these little semicolons in front of there so I don't worry about that. I'm going to save that. Now it's okay because we haven't finished doing this. So I want to make sure I can get those eyeglasses first. So we're going to go properties. You notice this says default none. So I'm going to see if I can autofill it. Zero properties autofill. So okay, so it couldn't find the eyeglasses from that. Let's see if we can just edit the value and pick the eyeglasses. Um, what would they be called? Um, close glasses, maybe sunglasses. Is close. Close eyeglasses, maybe? Close, let's see, close eyeglasses. There, close eyeglasses, capitals. Okay, so one thing you can do is you just pick this, and then you just pick it and it's done. Close eyeglasses. Uh, the other thing you can do, which is what I will do, is I'll pick none, and so now it's none again. And I'm gonna go back, um, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go here, and I'm just gonna change this name. It's called close eyeglasses, because I like them to be called the same unless there's some type of conflict. Um, so save that. It's okay with the name. There's no conflict in that. Two things can't be named the same thing. So we come here. Uh, it says, uh, you didn't clean up from the last time. And so you need to fix it. And that's, we, I know that. So that's what that box says. So here it says close eyeglasses. Okay. So we're now going to do this autofill. I'm, and I'm instead of clicking this with fills them all, I'm just going to click this to show you that it works. So we're going to click autofill. And you can see, boom, it's the same name. So it it linked it up with closed eyeglasses. And so now we're all set. It's pointing to the closed eyeglasses in the game. Okay, so we say, okay. And we're gonna go back into this thing. So now this is all set up, closed eyeglasses. So now we have our thing. So we're gonna change this now. We're gonna put the end of here. And we're gonna say, if A is the actor dot, and we go back to our thing here, get item count. I'm going to copy this name, get item count, and we're going to say close eye glasses. Check if they do not have, we just want to check if they do not have eyeglasses. So that means if it's zero, they do not have them. So this thing, if this thing comes back with zero, then there's, there's none of that item in, in there. That's the count of the item. So if it's equal to zero, they don't have them. So we need to give it to them. So we need to say a dot, and we have to go back to our 
research here. So that one we've done. We need to add an item. So we need to add an item. All right. So here, uh, this is the item to add. That would be the eyeglasses. Count is automatically one uh, here. So we don't need to say that one. And silent is false. Uh, that will make it so it won't tell you that you get the glasses. I think I'm okay with it saying probably eyeglasses added, you know, I don't care if that, that's kind of nice to actually say, oh, eyeglasses were added. Um, so I just need to specify this once. We're just going to do add item and then the eyeglasses. So then we're going to say a dot add item and then we'll copy the same thing, eyeglasses like that. Okay. So if they don't have them, then add them, give eyeglasses to them. Okay, so now we want to equip the eyeglasses. But what we can say is, since we learned about it, we can say a um, if um, a dot, again, we come back here, and we saw is equipped. So does the actor have the specified item equipped? Because we don't want to equip it again if they already have the them equipped, uh, the glasses. So, um, so we'll say is equipped here. Um, the eyeglasses. So we go back here. Is equipped. Same thing. We'll copy eyeglasses. And we want to if say if it's not equipped. So a little bit of programming. A exclamation mark means not. Means not of that thing. So um, you can also of course is equipped. You can also say is this equal to. Um, equal to, uh, like, is equipped, you want to say is equal to false, meaning it is not equipped. Um, but, uh, you know, and I can leave it like that for now, so it's a little clearer, meaning false, it's not equipped. Uh, if it's, it returns false, it's not equipped. But you can also say uh, an, an exclamation mark, which is the equivalent of meaning not uh, of whatever thing is in front of it. So, if it's false, then it's not equipped another end if here. So the other thing we want to do in this here is we want to do this up here. We want to equip the eyeglasses at this point. We also have that over here. We have uh, equip item. So equip item, uh, this is the item we want to equip. Prevent removal means you can't take the glasses off. We don't want that. Uh, it's okay if you want to take them off and like for that one mod where you can't, it's blurry, you won't be blurry, but that's your prerogative to take them off and silent again i don't care if um it says it was equipped or not um uh, i don't mind some messages this is only going to happen one time it's probably good that you know that is ha what's happening equip item okay so we're going to take that and we're going to go back to um here and we're going to say a dot equip item and the same thing we want these closed eye glasses here put that there and then we got that and that is it uh, so if the item count is zero of them, we're going to give them one pair of eyeglasses. And if it's not equipped, false, the eyeglasses, then we're going to equip those glasses. And uh, that's that. This is the whole script for everything. If we save this, it should work just fine. Works just fine. So next thing is to test it. So I'm going to pause the game while I get this thing so I guess one thing is, is that um, before I show it in game, I should show how to enable it in game. So um, one other thing that we might want to do actually here too, is that after this, we give the eyeglasses to them, we don't really need this quest to be running anymore ever again. Um, they've got the eyeglasses. They don't, we don't really need them to, to, to have this running ever again. So, um, so at this point, we can stop this quest. So how do you stop the quest? Well, um, again, there's a bunch of, you know, methods that we can look up um, in the, the, this thing here. We can again go to the search for quest uh, script, search for that, uh, go to quest, and um, we'll come here and there's a bunch of functions. Well, one of them down here is, you can see is stopping, but one of them down here is stop. Stops this quest. We don't need to run it anymore. We've given them the glasses, it's done. So one thing we'll wanna say is after we give them the eyeglasses, whether it's this one way or this way, 
if we want to stop. So we can just here say stop, and that's it. It'll stop this quest, and that'll be it. It'll be done. <coughs> uh, so that's we can add that, and you'll see that'll be okay too. So it'll stop. We've given them the eyeglass, and it's all finished. Um, we, we don't need this thing running for the rest of the game uh, from then on. So. So that's that. Uh, we'll close this, and then we've got this quest. This is our whole quest. It consists of uh, this quest with the name Eyeglasses Star. Nothing else except for this one script that consists of just these three properties here um, that are all game assets, um, and a small little set of code here that starts it only at a certain time and then gives the glasses and then stops the whole thing. So really very minimal uh, thing, very light plugin here. Um, so again, we've made those changes so you can see there's a star. So we're going to hit the save button to save that. So now how do we get eyeglasses at start.esp into our game? Well, now that we're all done with our mod, because this is our that was our whole mod that we wrote here, now we have to go and get it in the game. That is outside of the creation kit. So we're going to close out the creation kit. And now we're into how do you install mods? Well, in the old days, you just added the mod to a file. Um, you would uh, put in a file and put a certain marker on the a text file and put it in there and stuff. Well, they have wonderful mod managers, which allow you to easily add and remove mods. And the one um, that, uh, you know, there's a lot of them. A lot of people like uh, uh, one called uh, Mod Manager 2. Uh, that's uh, the second version of it. The first one's, uh, you know, uh, passe. But it's the, the second one's much better. I've used it for a little while. I had, I've had to use it um, on occasion uh, when the other one I prefer um, is not working properly because that happens sometimes. Um, uh, so you'll see if I, you look at some of my uh, shortcuts here, um, I have Mod Organizer, or it's not Mod Manager, Mod Organizer too. I have mod organizer installed, um, but also, um, uh, you know, I use Vortex. Uh, Vortex is the one that's uh, written by this one uh, site called um, <laughs> that's that's on there. It's, it's it's really the main site that I would say. I was trying to think like there's some other things, but you know, it's things that split up a little bit. Uh, there was a big, a great big uh, time where Things were split up on in the internet for mods, but still, um, this main site is called Nexus, and it's called nexusmods.com, and that's where basically there's a ton of mods, and particularly for Fallout 4, there's just a lot of mods. There's one billion mods. That's a lot. <laughs> uh, not to say that Skyrim with its two billion isn't a lot, but you know, a billion's a lot of downloads. There's a, I mean, these are downloads, really, downloads of them. But, you know, there's a billion downloads. Um, uh, I mean, how many mods are there? I don't know. You click on this. Um, uh, let's see. Uh, uh, I mean, how many does it say somewhere? Some Somewhere on here, it probably says how many there are. But... But this is, you know, where you can go in and, and pick up mods that you want to install. And this is where we want to get, uh, where I'd like to teach how to get um, uh, our mod onto. Because it's a very simple little mod. Very, if it works, it's going to be, you know, a nice little thing. You can, people can easily install it and it's very light and won't be a problem. We want to make it a light plugin. Uh, but we want to test it first before we change it to a light plugin and worry about packaging it and stuff like that. We want to test it. So, um... So how do you get it in here? So the way you can, uh, you don't do it through the website here. The way you do it is through uh, your mod manager. So I have, um, I have my Vortex mod manager set up here. And the way, at least with Vortex, that you do it is you go into plugins here. And you have a whole list of plugins. And you can just search. Once you've saved your plugin, you can just search for it. So I can search for I here. Oop, let me clear all my filters. And I'll search for mod I. Uh, whoop, where is it? That's another one I like. I there it is. Okay, so you see I here. It says uh, it says disabled right now. It's not enabled at all. So 
the, at least in Vortex, you, you'll see this here, your mod, once you save it, you'll see it. And um, this goes off of your game folder where you save it, and you'll see that it's sitting here. Uh, to enable it, you just click on it and just say enabled. Um, and it'll do some stuff up at the top and just, you know, get it installed. And that's it. Uh, now it's, when you start a new game, you'll have this eyeglasses that start running. Um, and that's it for at least making a mod for you in your game, that's it. You don't, if you never want to distribute it, that's all you have to do. You make your mod, you save it, you enable it. It's in your game now, um, you can play with it. So in the next video, uh, cause I don't have to cut it off here top for time, but I, um, I, next video, I'll show how to go and, um, well, we'll test it first off. I'll show, I'll start off right in the beginning of the video. Uh, showing you starting it up the game with the eyeglasses, hopefully. And if not, we'll work on debugging, seeing if there's some other way to do it, or if there's something else I can do to make it happen with the eyeglasses. Um, if it works perfect, then great. We can move on to just how to package it and stuff like that. Otherwise, I'll have another video probably on debugging uh, and how to figure out how to get something to work that didn't work the way you thought, because that happens a lot. So I'm actually kind of rooting that it doesn't work so that I can show you guys that. Uh, but this is how you get enabled, and uh, we'll start the next one looking into testing it and making sure that it works in-game. Because you don't want to release anything to people without testing it first and making sure it works. Because um, what you think might work might not actually work, and so you've got to test it. Um, that's just good, um, uh, uh, good release um, practice. Okay, thanks. That's it for this video, and I will see you in the next one.